In a documentary called Tom vs. Time, there's a scene showing five-time Super Bowl winner Tom Brady getting a massage. Then his 11-year-old son comes in the room and asks him if he can check his fantasy football standings. I was wondering if I could check my fantasy team. Who do I get? <laughs> you know, Jack, everything comes at a cost, bud. That was like a peck. The second kiss shared by father and son prompted tweets from viewers using words like very disturbing and uncomfortably long. So we asked New Yorkers what they thought. I'm a little uncomfortable with that. I think at a certain age, it's like, okay, you can kiss him on the cheek, you can give him a hug, you know, but not in the mouth and not for that long. Too long, too long, like romantic long. He's laying there naked getting a massage, too. So that makes it weird? Yeah. I kiss my son on my lips. I have since day one. You know, I would have no problem with my son kissing me like that. Lifestyle and parenting expert Liz Stern says she doesn't see anything wrong. If you kiss your kids too much, it's the wrong thing. If you kiss your kids too little, it's the wrong thing. If you hug too much, it's the wrong thing. Or you know, I think people need to back off and just stop parent shaming. Of the people we spoke to, no one questioned Tom Brady's intentions toward his child, but they did seem to question the message he sent with his actions. I don't think affection should ever be tied in with a favor. Carolyn Meyer Wartels is a licensed clinical social worker and parenting expert. She says when it comes to physical touch, the message we send our children should be clear. You don't do anything with your body because someone else is insisting that you do it in order for you to get what you want. Even if the person insisting is mom or dad. In Manhattan, Elise Finch, CBS 2 News.